We turn now to our weekly segment, Tick Talk. We take a closer look at the story behind the sensation. Of course, today kicks off Pride Month. It's a season to celebrate the contributions of the LGBTQ plus community. And here to share her story, the first black transgender woman to model in Victoria's Secret, Amira Despain. Amira, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So I know you've got more than a million followers on the platform and you talk about your transition, dating, beauty tips, life in New York City. We were just talking about life in New York City. <laughs> uh, congratulations on your following. For the people that don't know you, what do they need to know about you? What do they need to know about me? Um, well, I am fabulous, obviously. <laughs> Clearly. Um, but no, I, I, I love my followers, my community that I've built online. I think it's really cool that I get to share my story every day and I wake up, get to play with makeup, and that's like my favorite thing <laughs> right. in the world. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you post about all kinds of different topics. I yeah. mean, uh, you do speak about your transition, which is a very personal process for yes. everybody. You're very open about yours. What led you to talk about it? Well, I've debated back and forth about like whether or not I was gonna share a lot of it online. And um, we were actually just talking about this. I, I think the decision that I came to is because I, I really feel like it's important to share my story because there's a lot of trans people who don't have the privileges that I do. And I think it's important that people get to see different sides of someone being trans. Like, mm -hmm. I think that's really cool. Have you learned things about yourself by sharing your story? 100%. Yeah. Um, I think I've most definitely learned like how much my community means to me. I think that's the biggest thing is that I've built this this like little love, little love bubble that mm -hmm. I think it's awesome that I get to share my story in my life. and. That's really special. It does appear to be like incredibly positive yes. for you in the comments, all your followers and yes. things like that. I mean, speaking of the community, how do you feel about Pride Month? Any big plans, anything like that? Um, I, I don't really know. I uh, Honestly, like Pride for me, I think I it's so oversaturated that I feel like sometimes it gets a little like overkill. So sure. I, I'm trying to maybe do a little Pride party at my house. And I think okay. that could be really fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah. How about to, to the people that uh, aren't in your community, yes. aren't in your followers, what would you like them to know about your know your day-to-day -day life and your community at large? I think I would like them to know that I'm a very positive person and that's, you know, positivity has been something that's always been at the core of me and confidence and a lot of people that follow me and are a part of my life don't necessarily identify with me, but I think the tips and advice that I give with beauty and even beyond the confidence, I think is like what's most able to people to take away. You talk about beauty a lot, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Any uh, LGBTQIA owned companies that you want to shout out? Um, like One that? Size Beauty by Patrick Starr, a fellow influencer. He's fabulous. And yeah, I love, I love everything from them. It's amazing that you're so open with your story. It's great that you're getting the support from Thank people. You. Looking back, I mean, we, you, some of those videos that we just pulled up, you know, you had from yourself from 2016 and then going yeah. through the process. Yeah. What would 2016 you, or even before that, think about where you are right now? I don't think that she would believe how far we've come. I think I used to get in my head a lot mm -hmm. and I did doubted myself a lot growing up, but I was surrounded by so much love and so much positivity. My parents are so supportive. My friends are so supportive. Mm -hmm. And I think that has led me to blossom into who I am today. So yeah, I'm living proof that if you give a child like love and confidence, and this is what happens. How'd it feel making history with Victoria's Secret? It felt amazing. Yeah, I would imagine yeah. so. What's next for you? Um, I really want to get into acting. And I used to act when I was younger, so I want to get back into um, film. So stay tuned. OK, <laughs> we will. Thank you very much for being here. It's wonderful to Thanks meet you. Thanks for having me. And a happy Pride Month. Thank you. Uh, and enjoy your party. I will. I'm sure it will be a lot of fun. Uh, thank Amira, you. thank you so much for joining us. And you can find much more about her life and more helpful makeup tips as well. We're always looking for that. <laughs> XOXO Amira. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.